Hi, welcome to Team Safety uh, Series Lectures 101. Today we're going to talk about the regulatory consideration when you purchase a ducted film hood in Malaysia context. Firstly, a disclaimer. So we are not to substitute the legal advice, but the information provided here are accurate, uh, are up to date to July 2, 2020. When we purchase adapted film hood for our laboratory, uh, we shouldn't consider that as just a laboratory furniture because it is not. Ducted film hood is legal binding and you need to know the law and regulation you need to comply uh, before you purchase a ducted film hood. So this presentation will show you there are two ministries that we need to comply when we use a ducted film hoods. So a the typical ducted film hoods, also in technical terms called LEV, the local exhaust ventilations. A proper, complete local exhaust ventilations come with five components uh, according to um, the definitions. The first component is the hood, which is the film cupboard. And then the second is the duct line. Uh, the third one is the air cleaner. Uh, it can be a wet scrubbers or just a carbon filters. The fourth component is the centrifugal fans to create suctions to draw out the air. And lastly is the stacks, which is the chimney that install outside of the buildings. So with these five components, typical uh, ductus film to consider a local exhaust ventilation. So a proper install the ductus film hoods, besides considering the duct lines and the chimney and, the, uh, and also the fan, you also need to have enough makeup air. Uh, to fit into the room so that the air being drawn out are, are balanced out so you will not experience too much negative pressure in the room. So this is a typical example of the sufficient makeup air into the room and the air being sucked out from the ducted film hose. So there are two ministry uh, that we need to comply in terms of law and regulations. The first ministry is the Human Resource Ministry in Malaysia uh, under the DOSH, the Department of Occupational Safety and Health. To comply to this uh, Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994, the regulations that we mentioned here is called Use Regulations. Use stands for Use and Standards of Exposure of Chemicals Hazardous to Health uh, Regulations. 2000 and under this regulation stipulates that an employer has the responsible to protect their employees from uh, exposure to excessive chemicals um, according to schedule one list all right so uh, under this use regulations there are three main competent persons that are related uh, the first one uh, the most important is the chemical health risk assessor. Every private industry needs to perform a risk assessment of the interval of every five years. So the risk assessors will come and then assess the, the, the chemical health and risk in your laboratory and prepare a report. From CHRA report, um, then you will know whether you, you, whether you need to perform chemical exposure monitoring. If you want to um, perform a CM, the chemical exposure monitoring, then you need to engage a hygiene tech one technicians, right? And if you have a local exhaust ventilation like a ductal film hood, then every year you need to perform the uh, LV re test report. So hygiene tech two technicians um, will refer to these guidelines so where you can actually download from the internet. I will sh share the link uh, underneath. So under these guidelines actually uh, stated that any owner of the ducted film hood need to perform a visual inspection for every month uh, of their engineering control system or their LV systems, right? And for every 12 months, they need to engage a hygiene tech two technicians to perform the LV test. The second law provisions is uh, under section 18. Uh, that stated that a design of the duct line and the fan capacity and etc need to be approved by a registered professional engineer 
by a registered PE because this registered PE will be responsible for the system and the construction and installation of these systems, right? So uh, the, this is, uh, these are the typical uh, tests run by the HGTEC2. Uh, the first one is to measure the airfast velocity at the opening of the ductile trim hoods. The airfast velocity requirement is 0 0.5 meter per second or in feet per minute is 100 feet per minute. Uh, the the hygiene tape tool will also measure the velocity pressure, the total pressure uh, of, uh, of the dart lines and the typical velocities that required in the dart line is 5 meters per second or 1000 feet per minute. So when they measure fast velocity, these are the typical um, data points uh, that they will collect every at least 16 to maybe 25 data points they will collect and uh, the measurement point shouldn't be more than six inches. Uh, every six inches, they have to take one measurement. So this is uh, the guidelines uh, for taking measurements. So beside the guidelines uh, provided by uh, DOSH, uh, there's also a court of practice pro uh, produced by Malaysia standards under MS 1042-7, 2011. Inside this uh, court of practice, uh, it mentioned the same thing. Uh, you need to run uh, FS velocity measurements um, but there are something mentioned here which is not uh, mentioned in the guidelines is number two which is the tracer gas SF6 containment test so under malicious standards actually uh, recommended the, the manufacturer of the film hoods to run a containment test um, the SF6 tracer gas because uh, this will also allow you to comply to NCIHA Z9.5 uh, standards. So what is containment test by SF6 tracer gas? It's basically uh, emissions of uh, 4 liter per minute of SF6, SF6 gas uh, inside the film hoods and outside the film hood you place a, a dummy with a sensor as a nose label and you want to detect the the, le the leakage of SF6 outside of the film hoods it shouldn't be more than 0 0.05 ppm so in order to get approval for the containment test uh, worldwide there are two methods for containment tests the US Astra uh, 110 2016 and Europe EN 14175 standards so different countries may adopt different um, standards so these are just a map that shows the distributions of the, the standards right so uh, in summary under DOSH um, we have to run the LV test for every 12 months every year and the dark line design has to be approved by registered professional engineer However, the tracer gas containment test is not compulsory in Malaysia, but it does recommend it uh, in standard Malaysia. The second ministry that you need to comply is the Ministry of the Natural Resources and also Environment, which is the DOE. So the act that related to uh, the Dr. Fimbo is the Environmental Quality Act 1974. So the regulations that you need to comply is the Environmental Quality Clean Air Regulation 2014. Under um, Clean Air 2014 regulations, um, a stack need to be installed above the rooftop, the three feet above the rooftop, and the designs need to include diamond head stacks, uh, carbon filters before the fan, the sample port and also the numbering. So all these are the requirements uh, according to DOE Clean Air Regulations. Uh, another thing is that you need to fill, especially within the 30 days of installation of the stacks, is you need to get a written approval from the stack DOE. And the whole process needs to be performed by a competent person uh, which is certified environmental professionals in back filters operations. So these computer persons will draw out a detail of your film hoods, the ducting layout uh, in order to submit to DOE. 
and he also need to help you to perform the air emission test uh, to comply to environmental quality clean air regulations uh, to submit applications uh, to get a written approval from the state DOE and also uh, a written declaration of design and construction of air pollution control systems so once you submitted all this by maybe three to four months you will obtain this written um, approval from DOE. If you have the air cleaner which is the carbon filters so you will also need to handle the used carbon filters which is uh, categorized under schedule waste. So under environmental quality schedule waste regulation 2005 you need to engage a competent person called SAP SWAM certified environmental professionals in schedule waste management to uh, help you to dispose the used carbon filters. The schedule waste code is SW410. The competent person will engage uh, licensed contractors and also the, the transporters to dispose all these used carbon filters. So in summary, uh, we need to comply to two regulations. The first one is under DOSH Occupational Safety Health Act 1994, the use regulation 2000. The company that own a ducted film hoods are, re are required to perform the LED test for every every year and perform the visual inspection every month and the duct designs need to be approved by registered professional engineer right so the second uh, regulation is under DOE environmental quality act 1974 under environmental quality clean air regulations you need to obtain a written approval from DOE um, by a um, competence person in back filters operations. If you have a used carbon filters, you also need to uh, handle and dispose the used filter according to the Schedule Waste Regulation 2005 uh, by a TEPS1 competent person. So here you have it. Uh, when you purchase a ducted film hood, make sure you comply to uh, these two regulations. DOSH and also DOE. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope these lectures will help you uh, to make a wise decision when you purchase a doctor's